Hey everybody, it's JoJo. And oh, let me move this back a little bit. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm here to do a video about um <sighs> Well as you can tell from the title, I'm doing a video about the um shooting and killing and I just wanted to talk about the the um the the incident that happened at the Texas school but first as you can tell I'm a little disheveled right now <laughs> I'm just crying a little bit um I just found out that one of my aunts um an aunt that's very close to me like I have a few aunts but this aunt I think I'm the closest to I was the most closest to her as a child not so much anymore but as a child and um I just found out that she had, um, that she has what looks to be is, is cancer. I don't know exactly what yet, but, um, she's not doing so well, so I'm, like, a little bit disheveled right now, because I just found this out. Um, so just pray for her, please, because it's just, it's a lot going on right now. So with that being said, um, let's talk about the, um, gun violence. Um... Um, okay. So, in Texas, a week ago, there was this, um, incident that happened with an 18-year-old that, um, shot up a, a, a school, an elementary school. Um, killed 19 kids and two teachers, so two adults. Um, so altogether he killed, like, 21 people. Um... Wow. Just in shock. This happened in Texas. Um, this has been going on for a very long time now. Um, where someone shoots up a school, um, shoots up a movie theater, um, shoots up w w a concert, whatever it is. And it's just, it's enough now. It's really enough. Um, I personally think guns should not be sold ever anywhere the only people that should have a gun are police officers I feel like those are the only people that should have guns or if you're in the army or something like that I don't think someone in a household especially an 18 year old um, should be able to purchase a gun I, I don't think that I also do, I just don't think anyone should be even if you're 30s, 40s, whatever, should not purchase a gun. I don't care if you, your excuse is for hunting. Don't hunt, then. Just don't hunt. Because you don't need to hunt. What are you hunting for? There's, you know, we're not in the Stone Ages. Like, you can get meat and stuff at the grocery store. You don't need to hunt in the forest with a gun. I don't think it should be sold at anywhere. Um, I don't get why there are. I mean, the only excuse is oh, for your protection. But there's other ways to protect yourself. There's other ways to protect yourself. You don't need a gun to protect yourself. You have other um, weapons to protect yourself. And you also can just lock yourself. Um, I guess lock... I mean, the only the only ways, reason for protection is if someone breaks into your home. You can literally just... You know, you can call the police or you can defend yourself in other ways. You don't need a gun. Okay? Um, I don't think anyone should be able to have a gun. I feel like this is the main reason why this keeps happening. is because guns are sold to anyone that can really walk to the, to, the, to the store and is old enough to purchase a gun. And that is the reason why this is happening. Okay? People are crazy. People are nuts. You know, you should not, because of that reason, we cannot trust guns being sold, unfortunately, because people really are crazy. Because of that reason, guns should not be sold then. And also, I feel like, with the guns not being sold, I feel, um, guns should not be sold, ammunition, whatever, I also feel like, at this point, though, it's too late to not sell guns in stores because anyone who has a gun already has a gun. You know, it's just something, it's a lifetime guarantee. Um, you can't, um, guns don't expire. 
You know what I mean? If you have a gun, you have a gun at that point. You're going to have it forever. But I feel like for new generations to come, guns should not be purchased. Um, and the other big reason why this keeps happening is because police officers or security does not check bags at malls, at schools. I know, like, you want to trust people and you don't want to add that to it, but at the end of the day, this is the, our truth. This is what's going on. And this is going to keep happening until guns are stopped being sold in stores and people start checking bags. That's it. Especially in schools. Especially in schools. Um, I don't get why this is what? I don't know how many times this happened. I can't count. I mean, at least 50 times at this point. And it's still, there's still no laws against guns still to this day after this has happened so many times you know this is not the first time this has happened this happened so many times like when is it going to stop um that being said it was a traumatic horrible incident that happened um you know i mean these kids were like the, the youngest i think were nine or eight i mean school was just about to close in a couple of days before this incident happened so many sad stories of kids were just was just receiving end of the year awards and everything a day or a day or two prior and then this happens this 18 year old did not go to the school at all it was supposedly that he's um insane that he would kill animals that he um would bully kids and then on this day, I don't know where he got the gun. I don't know if he bought it or he got it from home. Killed his grandma, shot his grandma, and then went to the school and shot up the school. Um, unbelievable. Like, just completely unbelievable. It's completely sad. Heart wrenching, gut wrenching. It is. There needs to be an incident that happens that finally wakes people up and be like, guns should not be sold. Guns are a weapon. Guns are fatal. Guns, there's really no reason to purchase a gun unless for your own protection. But again, if you have your doors locked and you call, are able to call the police and you're able to defend yourself in other ways, like there's other type of weapons. There's a hammer, you can get a, a bat, a knife, whatever. You don't need a gun. You don't need a gun. There's other weapons to protect yourself in your home if someone breaks in. You do not need a gun for that. So I don't get why th th this keeps happening and why guns are able to keep getting sold. It's ridiculous now. Joe Biden is, is a Democrat. Excuse me, a Democrat. And at this point, he's the President of the United States. He needs to stop this. It's enough now. You know, Donald Trump is not a president anymore. If Donald Trump is still a president, I get it. Probably would still, there'd be no hope for, for guns not being sold. Because Joe Biden is now president, there needs to be hope. He need, There needs to be something that stores and guns aren't, can't be sold anymore. It's enough already. If you're not a police officer and you're not part of the army, there's no reason for you to have a gun. Absolutely none. Absolutely no reason. It's just very sad. It's very, very sad. I don't know what else to say. It's very um, unfortunate that this is like, I don't know how many times this has happened. And, you know, there's gay bars, gay clubs like Pulse that, um, was it? I think it was called Pulse. It was a nightclub in Miami. Got shot up. Got shot up. There's been schools a million times that got shot up. There's a the movie theater that got shut up that was playing The Dark Knight that time. It is nonstop. It's nonstop. When are people going to realize that people are fucking nuts? And then... I don't get it. I guarantee you, if, like... There were no stores that sold guns, a lot of these incidents would, would not have happened. And if there was security that checked bags, this also would not happen, you know? Also, the security and, and the security of each of these departments are also to blame here because if they just check bags, this would not happen. It wouldn't. You know, the families are grieving right now, but they need to be mad at the gun laws and they need to be mad at, obviously, the person who did it. But I think the person who did it 
I mean, at this point, I, th I think he's dead. I don't know if, I think the police officers did shoot him on the site when they found him. Um, but they need to be mad. The parents of these kids need to be mad at the gun laws and they need to be mad at security laws as well that they need to check bags before entering a school. I don't know what else to say. It's very saddened. I mean, literally the last, one of the last few days of the school year, this has to happen, you know? It's like they're about to go on summer break. They're so young. They were so young. Two teachers died. It's so sad. Let me know what you guys think down below about this. There needs to be an end to this. There needs to be an end. This cannot keep continuing. This just can't. We need to come to an agreement that guns just cannot be sold. I mean, I can't stress that enough. Guns just cannot be sold. No matter if it's a little pistol or if it's a friggin' rifle. It should not be sold. Period. Because anyone, anywhere can purchase that gun, take it, and shoot up whatever they want to shoot up. It's fatal. This is not like... A toy gun it's not a water gun this is not like a knife or something like this is something that could literally kill so many people in, in, in one go why is that being sold especially to an 18 year old like come on like an 18 year old like what makes me think is that this kid was waiting until he turned 18 so he could purchase a gun this is what because he just he had, I think he had just turned 18 a week a few weeks ago so this kid is that mental that he's waiting to turn 18 so he's old enough to purchase this gun. This was so premeditated, not thinking of it. This is so premeditated. He was thinking of doing this for a very long time. And he couldn't do it because he wasn't 18. And only 18 and older can purchase the gun. So he waited, literally, right when he turned 18 a few weeks ago. So he could go purchase this gun and then decide to shoot up a random school... sad it's really sad this kid was obviously very mental i mean people who known him was was crazy he was crazy he got joy of bullying people and hurting people and killing animals like these are the types of people we need to watch out for you know and i'm not blaming the friend or the person who knew him but if they knew this about this person they should have contacted police or authorities or something that this kid this kid is mental he's killing animals you know, you need to speak up. When you see signs of this, you need to speak up. You need to. You know? It's terrible. Anyways, I love you guys. Please let me know down below what you think. Please send prayers to the families that died or the, the, the kids that died and the families affected by this. And um, also, pray. side note, pray for my aunt. Um, she has cancer and she's not doing well either. It's a lot of sad news. And also another sad news that happened. Um, an actor, I think his name was Ray Leo. I forgot a little bit. Ray Leo, one of the actors who was in Goodfellas, um, like those gangster movies, he just died too. And in his sleep. So, and he was 67 years old. I want to compare, uh, and it's not comparing, it's not even adding this to it. It's just saying like, this was a death that also happened this week. Um, but luckily for him, he did die in his sleep and, um, compared to the other stuff that's going on right now. I mean, it's it doesn't even compare, but um, he was a well-known actor. He did die in his sleep this week. Um, he was 67. And I had just watched Goodfellas, too. I had just watched Goodfellas. It's crazy. Um, yeah. Life is short. Life, life, you never know what could happen. You can literally, something can happen to you tomorrow and you just don't, don't know it. I mean, it's just, it's horrible. Like, it's just so unpredictable life is. I was just thinking, like, those parents, like, saying goodbye to their kids that morning, like, oh, it's your last couple of days of school, like, you know, whatever, and then to get this phone call in the middle of the day, it's just, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Okay. Well, I'm going to get going. I love you guys. Um, and, um, God bless and God will, and... We, we really need to just watch ourselves because it's like you're not safe anywhere you're really not 
I don't know why schools are normally the biggest target, but this could happen anywhere. This could happen going to the grocery store. This could happen literally just leaving your house. Like, it could happen anywhere. So, I mean, people should be afraid of leaving their houses until these guns stop being sold and until security is checking every bag and schools, malls, and stuff like that. It's that simple. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.